All right, welcome to the second review of the evening. Up this time is June Shining. I'm assuming that June is the character you're playing as? I, th I think so. You know, because, yeah, yeah, I see the pun you're making here, but, you know, it's either, like, the character or, like, the land you're in or something along those lines. Anyway, um, Master the Elements, Explore Mystical Worlds, Harness Ancient Powers, June Shining is an enchanted golf-like platformer with a fantasy twist. Use magic to bend physics, influence environments, and make impossible shots as you puzzle your way through a strange and mythic multiverse. So, yeah, this is a golf platformer or golf adjacent, you know, golf like as they put it. So this game was assigned to Petty for review. So over to him for the details. Uh So yeah, this game is kind of boring. I mean, it's based off of golf, so that's not the biggest surprise in the universe. Mm -hmm. Basically your entire goal is to get this magic ball into the basically hole, like golf hole at the end, mm -hmm. to save the dodos from death. Huh. You know, uh, uh, some weeks ago we were trying to kill a dodo, and now we're trying to save them. Yeah. Yeah. Nature is fucking weird, man. <laughs> More video games are weird. Fair. Nature has nothing to do with this. <laughs> like, nature evolved the dodos into very delicious and very vulnerable snacks. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Anyway. Um, this... This game is literally you just point your ball to wherever you want it to go and just hit space. You don't have to like charge up your shot or anything like that. Just space and it'll follow that arc. Now, do you have to follow the rules of golf in the sense that the less hits you make, the better you do? Yes. Okay. And um, you can make, um, right now I have the power to, like, stop the ball and, like, kind of gently incline it to go forward. But, like, that's about it. Also, mm -hmm. I have no idea what kind of dance my character is doing at the end screen. I mean, I, is I that believe... even a? It, it looks like um, they are falling through space. Falling, living... or they need immediate medical attention. I mean, or if they're they falling, never then... know. Yeah. But yeah. Right. Um. There really isn't a whole lot to say about this game. Like, some of the assets, I don't want to say they look like they were pulled from the Unity store, but. <laughs> right. And the music, it exists to the point I ended up muting it after the first few holes, because. Meh. <laughs> I mean, the music. Is what it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's another one sure of the, the interesting power things. Yeah, there you're is... making sure that the music is unmuted uh, these days, right? Yeah. I can't hear the stream because, you know, we are kind of broadcasting. It should be unmuted. Let me... <laughs> Live research. Oh, oh yeah. Let's bump that a little bit. Oh, you can probably also unmute it. 
Right. At, at least I didn't mute us. Yes, I suppose that is the more important part. But, you know, we are trying to get more background flavor these days. Yeah. But, like, um, there is a... Um, a hole or, like, loop ring, whatever you want to call it, that when you shoot the ball through it, it kind of glides. So I mm -hmm. guess that's... That makes for some engaging gameplay. Like there, I mean, in theory. There's stuff you can do here. The problem is, is just... I would rather this to be a normal platformer if I had my, you know my idea or whatever my input so the whole golf gimmick is novel for like 20 seconds before you realize I could have a lot more fun just playing a platformer Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, any questions, comments, or concerns from you, Adam? Nope. All in all, it's an okay at best game. Mm. But it's... It's not a lot to write home about. What are we looking at price-wise? $20. 20 yeah. I'm like, Fuck no, dollars. absolutely not. Burn this game in effigy. I wasn't expecting you to feel that strongly about it. I mean, this game looks like it costs about 20 bucks. You know. <laughs> I was expecting you were going to say, like, 5, maybe 10. This is... Like, nope. And, like... Uh, its soundtrack is going for even more. Uh, that's for, or no, 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 sorry, sorry. It's going for twelve dollars. <laughs> See, if this didn't look like half the assets could have been flipped from the Unity store, maybe. Mm. But ooh, no, 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 no. And it's got the bundle at twenty eight seventy eight. All right, how many worlds does this have to it? I don't know. Let's see. There are only ten court or ten worlds to this. Hmm. Yeah. It, so apparently, it's got a hundred plus levels means there are probably secret levels and such. Maybe. 20 plus hours of gameplay attempts. Uh, sure, okay, Jan. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> mm. But yeah, for $20, avoid. <laughs> okay. Like it, I said... I guess if it comes on sale for less than 5 It it's a mild curiosity... But at full okay. price, certainly not. Alright then, anything else to say on June Shining? Uh, not really. No then, so yeah, that'll about do it for this game. Be sure to tune in after the break, as the Gallics will be reviewing Dunk Rats. <laughs> 